I was born in the 80s, but I grew up in the 90s. I did a lot of stuff as a kid. I did sports, I did scouts, you name it. But I always had a soft spot for video games. Every kid did. Every kid still does. However, in 1992, I experienced something that changed my life forever. At a skating rink, I fell in love. Not with a girl, not with my skates, but with an arcade machine, Street Fighter II. This one game started an entire lifetime of playing fighting games. Constantly learning, improving, and growing stronger with every interaction within every single match. Even though I grew up much like most other kids of the era did, the one place I felt like I truly belonged was in the arcade. As I got into my early 20s, I moved cities. I carried this love with me, and it caused me to start new communities based around playing fighting games in my newly local scenes. I attended multiple major tournaments with thousands of entrants and even larger prize pools. I watched in real time as my favorite hobby became a legitimate sport. Then, in 2020, during the height of the COVID pandemic, myself, my wife, my daughters, and my dogs packed up, left Florida, and moved here to Vermont. When I arrived, I immediately looked for the kind of fighting game community like the one I had left behind. There wasn't one. So I, along with a few newfound friends, saw this as an opportunity to start one. Enter Wednesday Night Fight Club. Over the last year, WNFC has grown exponentially, and we've been fortunate enough to have the support of Champlain College's esports program at our backs. But even with all of this, there's one thing that's always bothered me. This community, as it currently stands, best serves college students and adults. People that can go to weekly locals and go to monthly tournaments and not have to worry about waking up the next morning and being seated in a school desk. As a parent, I know what it's like to see kids struggle to find a place to fit in. And as a former kid that struggled to fit in, I know that feeling firsthand. And so I decided to build an extension of our community, one specifically designed to give middle and high schoolers a place to find their own kind. We've built a space where we can teach a new generation of players how to play the games we've spent 30 years practicing every weekday afternoon. But instead of a dimly lit arcade or a video game store filled with bored, aimless teenagers, we've created a structured curriculum designed to teach fundamental skills and concepts that build a focused pathway to advanced techniques and tournament level play. But that's only the half of it. We also relate these skills to real world applications that you might not expect to learn from time spent pressing buttons with other people. Things like the importance of patience, the necessity of learning from failures in a constructive way, the concept of resource management, long-term strategy versus short-term needs, sound decision-making under pressure, respect for others, even mathematics. Long story short, there's a lot to learn, 30 years worth and counting. Fighting games have taught me a tremendous amount, things that have helped shape my ability to succeed in life, far beyond the simple act of pressing buttons. I wanna pass that on to kids who are growing up like I did. Kids looking for a place to belong, a place to grow, and to be supported in an environment that genuinely enriches them while offering them something they truly love to do. I want to give those kids the kind of environment that I wish was there for me. That environment didn't exist for us, but we can make it exist for them. Welcome to the WNFC Esports Dojo. We're playing to win at life.